Hello everyone and welcome to this packed publishing course about network scanning with Nmap for network security. I'm your instructor Brian Rogalski and today we'll be discussing Nmap and network security, but before we get into a course overview, let me take a brief moment to introduce myself. So as I said, my name is Brian Rogalski and I got started in the network security sphere over 10 years ago working in the financial industry, during which time we were creating an information security program from the ground up. In fact, we used Nmap quite extensively during this period. It was my first exposure to the tool, but I did use the knowledge to attain my first industry certification, the Certified Ethical Hacker. After about seven years or so, I then chose to move to DC and work for various government entities in the field of malware analysis. After my work in the governance space, I hopped over to the defense industry, working as a malware analyst and an intel analyst for BAE and Raytheon. Now, along with Hexcape's Impact, I'm an instructor, security researcher, and author, writing various blogs, articles, and training courses. Now that you're familiar with me, let's take a look at a course overview. The Hands-On Network Scanning with Nmap course is divided into five sections. In section one, we'll have a short lecture period, during which time I'll review some internal scanning and network basics. We'll get Nmap installed on your system and go over the features of Nmap. In section two, we'll cover how to use Nmap to perform different types of scans, examine the difference between different protocol scans, as well as use Nmap to discover and analyze different network assets using information attained from their services, versions, and running operating systems. In section three, we'll introduce you to some advanced scanning and host discovery techniques, in addition to optimizing Nmap timings and looking at how we can utilize Nmap's output formats. In section four, we'll spend some time bypassing firewall and IDS systems using approaches learned from previous sections, as well as showing you how to build HTML reports to visualize Nmap data. Lastly, in section five, we'll show you how to utilize the Nmap scripting engine to automate tasks, and then we'll wrap up our course by demonstrating usage of Zenmap, the Nmap graphical user interface. Now let's talk about an important topic, which is the prerequisites. So to be successful in the course, you're gonna need a basic knowledge of networking as we're gonna be covering network protocols and we'll want a knowledge of the penetration testing process. Now we're gonna have a slight review of these topics, so don't worry if you aren't experts. In addition, you should have a computer with virtualization. Now, although I use VMware throughout the course, feel free to use VirtualBox or any other platform with which you feel comfortable. You should also have familiarity with the command line as Nmap is a command line tool. A simple text editor will suffice, an internet connection, and of course, a desire to learn. Now let's take a look at what we want to accomplish during our time together. So in this course, we're gonna be using Nmap to enhance our internal network security posture. To accomplish this task, we need to broaden our networking knowledge, and we need to attain a deeper understanding of networking protocols. In addition, we want to better understand the internal penetration testing methodology, specifically how and where Nmap falls into that process. Also, we want to master Nmap and use it as a tool to perform scans and assess our internal network architecture. In addition to becoming familiar with Nmap, we'll want to learn how to visualize data so that we can interpret it easier and create reports. Then lastly, we'll learn to utilize the Nmap scripting engine to automate common tasks, thereby making our assessment process faster and more efficient. So with all that being said, let's get started.